Hello to all prestige readers. Uh, I'm Nicolas Boss. I'm the president of Van Cleef & Apples. Uh, and it's my privilege today to be introducing the exhibition project, The Art and Science of Gems, that's opening at the Art Science Museum in Singapore on the 23rd of April, and that's going to be open until the 14th of August, 2016. In this exhibition, you will have the opportunity to discover around 450 jewels from Von Cleef & Apple's history, seen together with 250 specimens of minerals and gemstones on loan from the French National Museum of Natural History. I hope you will enjoy your visit. Uh, the artistic dimension we decided to highlight through the different inspirations, the different components of artistic style, of jewelry, as they are in, expressed by Van Cleef & Apples. But we felt that the, the scientific component uh, could really be uh, expressed through the world uh, of stones, which is obviously a very important component of the world of natural history. A mystery setting, I think, is, is uh, one quite famous illustration and I think very important illustration of the technical innovation that has been very central to the house for more than a century. It was created in the early 1930s and it's actually a technique which is a mix of jewelry technique and lapidary technique and a different way to integrate the stone into the architecture of a piece of jewelry. I think Van Cleef & Apple's creative universe is extremely diverse and I think it's going to be a discovery for quite a few visitors to the exhibition, even those who know the house quite well, uh, because there are very important sources of inspiration, like nature, so all the, the set of inspiration around the butterflies, birds, uh, leaves, trees, flowers, that's very important. There is obviously the importance of the world of couture, like in the zip necklace, or the bows, the tassels. So these are quite well known to, to jewelry amateurs. Uh, well, I think you discover in this exhibition through different sections that abstraction and geometry has been quite a very important source of inspiration throughout the years also, sometimes surprisingly, for a house that's very known for its decorative and figurative elements. There is a beautiful necklace that we just added to the museum, uh, which is an Art Deco diamond necklace that was uh, designed in 1939 for Queen Nasli of Egypt, which is to me one of the most flamboyant expressions of uh, Art Deco diamond jewelry, and which is to be seen for the first time uh, ever in this exhibition. For instance, objects that are uh, also not so well known, you know, besides the, the jewelry and the necklaces and the brooches, but you know, precious boxes, vanity sets, lighters, all sets and range, uh, even a birdcage, that's actually a very precious birdcage, that's on show in the exhibition. There's this, this brooch that uh, we call the, the Vals Cabriolet. I think a fantastic design from uh, 1971, very much under the influence of Persian and Indian art and style, which uh, features this kind of imaginary bird, a bit like a phoenix, very light, that holds in its beak a 96.6 carat rayolette yellow diamond. Uh, we thought it was absolutely appropriate uh, to be the icon of this exhibition.